Welcome, this is a training video produced in collaboration between Peer Health and Community Nursing Services. This video is focusing on identifying frailty and the use of the Rockwood Scale. Frailty is not an inevitable part of getting old, but it is classed as a long-term condition. When someone is living with frailty, as they age, all their organs in their body age, so the ability for someone to fight off an infection will lead to the fact that they probably will not then return to their baseline. I'm sure if you think about it within your care home setting, you can think of maybe a resident that has had a fall, and then following from that fall, they've never quite got back to their level of mobility that they had before. And they're now either maybe needing some assistance or in fact may even need a walking aid. Now this could well be because of a progression of their frailty, because their body is unable to get back to their normal level. So it's really important that we are able to identify your residents so that we can put in place plans of care for them so that we can ensure that all their needs are being met and that they will have good clinical outcomes and a good quality of life. Frailty is actually becoming more and more common. 25 to 50 percent of people over the age of 80 are living with some degree of frailty. Frailty is a progressive disease so the spiral of them deteriorating will increase, which again will put them at greater risk of hospitalisation. Also, if something suddenly happens to them, not necessarily just an infection or falls, it could be a change of environment, even just a change in medication. There are so many different areas that can actually affect their level of frailty. It will have a potential of impacting on their quality of life, and also it will potentially impact on negative outcomes for them and their health. I would like to show you today the Rockwood Frailty Scale. This is a tool that is used nationally and will help you to be able to identify the level of frailty of your residents to ensure that you are then able to meet their needs. As you can see from the chart, there are nine different levels of frailty. But looking at the chart, I'm sure you can probably recognise that your residence would be at the levels six till nine. So I'm now going to go through each different level and discuss where your resident may sit. So if we look at number six on your frailty scale, you can see it says moderate frail and you've got the picture by the side. Don't just look at the picture, but obviously read the narrative as well because it's important that you look at both before deciding as to what level of frailty your resident may have. Number six is moderate frail. These are people that need help with all outside activities and with keeping house and they often have problems with stairs and need help with bathing and might need minimal assistance. You probably haven't got many residents in this level of frailty. In fact you might not have any. So when we look at number seven, it says that they are completely dependent for personal care. So think about your residents. Which of your residents do you help with all aspects of their personal care? And it doesn't matter whether you're helping them because of personal disabilities or whether it's due to their cognition. Bearing in mind that these residents seem very stable and maybe they are not entering the last six months of their lives. Number eight. We can see that there's a picture of somebody in a bed. This is the category for people that are severely frail. These people are completely dependent upon you for all their needs. But please don't just look at the picture and just assume that everybody that is in a bed is very severely frail. Just remember, you can also have your residents that are dependent on you, but in fact still get out and sit in a chair because you are supporting them to do that through the use of a hoist. People in this category are really approaching the end of their life. And if they were to develop an infection, then the chances of recovery would be minimal. Number nine is classified as those residents that are terminally ill. They have been told that they have less than six months to live. For this group of people, we really need to think about their future care, 
and what their wishes would be for those last few months that they are with us. So we've talked about what is frailty and the importance of identifying those residents that are living with frailty and we've looked at a tool that you can use to help identify those people living with frailty. Now what we would like is we really need your support because we want to identify those residents of yours that are living with severe frailty so that we can work with you to ensure that we have all the appropriate care and support in place for that group of residents to ensure that they receive the right care at the right time. We would like you to look at the Rockwood scale so that you can identify those residents that have a score of eight or more. The reason why we want you to do this is so that we can then come in and have conversations with those residents and also their family to look at how we can best support them and care for them for their future lives. We can't do this without you and it's really important that we get your support because we all want to ensure that your residents have the best quality of life possible. <music>